hammer time. Yeah, we wanted to come through this door first. That way we can get the boss. We also want to destroy all of these doors. Because they're all fakes. And hide important stuff behind them, such as that. Whee! Where well, we can just jump on across. Make that switch to breast. Your mother hates you! And pick us up off, Steve. Well, alright. So now let's go take on the boss. We are getting pretty close to it. In fact, this is the second to last room in the boss area. Let's see here. Spin attack or just drop a bomb there. I like the spin attack personally. Of course, we fought Lizzlefos earlier. We gotta fight him again. Not far enough back. There we go. I like setting off them switches. There we go. Alright. I want to go on and push this this way. One more time. One more. Hi. Hi. One more. Thank you. And then we got a wallable bomb. And another little folks. Not all that hard to take out. There we go. I don't think you want to go on and open that box, if only because I believe that is actually a trap chest. That was good, buddy. Alright. Down we go. Not all that hard to do this. Now, this part actually did trip me up for the longest time. I did not realize you could hook shot over to that. I ended up having to look up a guide the first time I played this because I really I didn't know that you could hook shot across. So we've got Twin Rova, the Twin Witches, Koume and Kotake. And apparently this is our boss. Looks 
just like the other bosses, or other ones that we fought in this dungeon. Let's just take it out like we have to. I like to backflip away after doing a jump attack. Oh, it's certainly taking a hell of a lot more damage. Well. Oh my! It's Nabora! We've been fighting Nabora this whole time! to reason that Naboru should look older, considering this is seven years in the future. And they just disintegrated Naboru. Well, if it's not Naboru, if Naboru isn't the, uh, sage, I wonder who is. I mean, she just got disintegrated. Yeah, I like viewers. Let's actually go on and fight the real boss. <laughs> the Fire Witch Kome and the Ice Witch Kotake. Maybe it's the Ice Witch Kogume and the Fire Witch Kotake. Now, this is a interesting fight. We've got the twin sister, or the sorcerer sister's twin robot. Now, the reason why I say this is an interesting fight is because we've got to aim this at, at basically the fire one if the fire is aiming at us or is going to shoot at us we gotta aim that at the ice if the ice is aiming at us we gotta aim it at the fire so the basic way of doing that is to target them but sometimes that kind of misses and sometimes they're just not within line of sight. Like that bit. They will generally just kind of switch back and forth. Generally. Gotcha, bitch. We just gotta get we just gotta get three hits on them. Oh, that should have been. Okay, I guess it didn't do the trick. And of course, Bo may just kind of. Or maybe it's good time to just kind of run away. God damn it. deal a certain amount of damage to them, they start being kind of dicks. Like that one. Freaking Kohome or Kotake or whatever. They, they, they just kind of like to stay at a certain... See, this is not gonna... Yeah. I was in the wrong angle because this was bitchin'. This was bitchin'. That bitch was in the wrong angle. 
God damn it, Koume! Or Kotake, whoever you are. Alright, I'm gonna be back in a couple minutes to refresh the recording stream. Welcome back, viewers! Recording stream has been refreshed. However. Okay. Yeah, fuck you, bitch! There. Apparently you gotta hit him four times. And welcome to the real boss. The Kome Kotake Dynamite Duel. What they will do is fly to one of the four portions of the area and throw either a ice or fireball at you. If it's a fireball and you've gotten three or and you've hit her three times already, then or if you've gathered up two of them already, then you're gonna wanna go on and just kinda jump out of it. What? Oh. Still got the goddamn Megaton hammer on. Generally, for the first two times she'll do this, she will uh, always throw three of one and three of the other. If you accidentally take an element that was not fire, or if you had ice and accidentally took an element that was not ice, then she will just be kind of a bitch, or your shield will just be kind of a bitch and degrade. So if you've already taken at least one fire or at least one ice, wait till she starts firing the fire or ice again. Not that. Just gonna throw one more fire and swap on back to ice. I just get to dodge around. Yep, there's the ice. She starts dozen ice in Dozen. There we go. I generally like to swap back and forth between doing fire and doing ice. When she starts getting low on health, she'll just start throwing random. Or maybe it's alternate between them. That wasn't random. Alright. And then I backflip off. Backflip for style. Does not work in boss fights, viewers. And then I miss. Er, I guess more technically, she missed. Uh, 
Yeah! Bow, bow, bow! This is gonna be ice. Yep. Wow, ice three times. Surprise, you fucking bitch. There we go. And there we go. That bitch twin roba is down. Okay, I was right. Fire Witch Koume and Ice Witch Kotake. But I'm only 400 years old! I'm only 300 Nikki! We're twins, you idiots! <laughs> I'll come back to haunt you. There you are, Mr. Hart. Gimme that. Gimme that butt. I'm gonna eat your babies. Babies have been et. And welcome to the Chamber of Sages, again. So Naboru wasn't disintegrated, she just became a sage. You do realize I didn't use the sword against you, right? I used a hammer. Wouldn't that make me a hammersman? Maybe a blacksmith. I am very good with a hammer. Or maybe she just wants to be nailed. Ho oh, ho! Bad joke! the spirit medallion. Man, all these ladies are hitting on Link, and yet I am 96% sure Link never gets any Poontang at all. Alright viewers, so I will go on and see y'all next time. We will be back in the Gerudo Desert, not desert, Gerudo Village, once I come on back. As for now, I'm taking a break. See y'all soon.